Disaster. Self care. I am the hottest person I ever exists. Refuse to believe that I lost my wallet. There's no way this is real life. <laughs> so hungry I'm just so happy to not be on an airplane i haven't slept in like 48 hours because i knew one my flight was at 8 a.m this morning so i did not trust myself to wake up at 6 a.m and like have all my shit ready plus like my sleep schedule is already gonna be like so messed up because like, new york is like three hours ahead of la but honestly the flights weren't well flights because i had no idea i did not know that i booked a layover flight I thought it was a one-way but fucking this morning i checked in for my flight and it was like boarding pass for now Nashville, and I was like, how, how did I fuck this up so bad? But thank God it was just a connecting flight. But both of the flights were actually pretty empty, which was really nice. Got my own row to myself. But we made it, and it's my first fashion week. I'm so excited. I'm like actually giddy. Ever since we landed, I haven't been able to stop smiling. First order of business is going to get snacks, but it's freezing outside, so that means that they have to open. <laughs> One of these. You guys are gonna be so proud of me. I evenly distributed my weight in both of these suitcases. So I didn't have to pay any extra. Okay. Yeah, once these suitcases like start opening, it's like all hell's gonna break loose. Well, I look like I've been on a plane for 10 hours, so. And then I'm just gonna go to the 7-Eleven and get snacks. This is so weird, because usually I travel with my mom and my mom does all this crap. And like I got in here and I was like, why is there no food? And I was like, well, it's because Amy's not with you. All right, scheduled a pickup for pizza because I've been eating really good for the past few days to um, prepare for fashion week. So now I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll probably go to bed because I'm not gonna be any fun tomorrow if I don't get some sleep. Looks yummy though. How the fuck did you turn this on? Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Good morning. I think I want to go shopping today because I don't have any other plans. Uh, I might be going to dinner later, but I know I want to go shopping around Soho. <laughs> it's like 11. I'm glad that I woke up early. This isn't fucking early, but it's early for me. Focus. Doing a bit of shopping. Just went to Aritzia. I was going to go to Zara, but then I was like, I don't really need that kind of overwhelming energy. I would really like to find some water though. Oh my god, I've been walking for so long, but I'll do a haul whenever I get home. Okay. One thing that I really love about New York is that you can walk everywhere. I mean, I guess theoretically I could walk places in LA. Like I'm physically able to, it's just not like practical. Okay, whole time. First I went to Brandy and I know like Brandy sucks or whatever. Like I really like their hoodies and sweats. So I went and I got this gray crew neck cause I've been wanting like a plain gray one and I didn't want to spend like a hundred dollars on one or, or I didn't want to spend $100 on one at Ritz, yes, so. Oh, and then I just got this, like, white button-up thing. I just thought it would be cute for, like, layering. And then I also got these fingerless, okay, these fingerless gloves. I think these are so freaking cute. Yeah, cute. I feel like these would be so cute, like, literally with what I'm wearing. Like, it would just add a little something extra. But yeah, that's all I got from Brandy. Then I went to Ritzia because, um, I've been wanting a coat like this. For a while but i've never seen it at the stores in la plus i didn't want to like have to put another coat in my suitcase but i guess now i'm gonna have to put it in there anyways whatever i got this it's the babaton slouch coat she was a little pricey but i feel like all of Ritz's stuff is like worth the investment 
but let me try it on. Yeah, this is adorable. It was the last one in the store, so it was kind of like a now or never kind of situation. But so I'm gonna go get dinner tonight with Kate Bartlett, and I'm so excited to finally meet her. I feel like I already know her, like just from social media. I feel like we're like very similar. Yeah, I'm very excited to meet up with her. <laughs> you can't fucking see her. <laughs> turn her. Turn her. Turn her. Kate, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, 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 thank you. Such a disaster. This is bad. Nice. You're recording. You're recording. You're recording. We took an Uber for two blocks. Yeah, yeah, we're going yeah, two blocks. Also, he's scratching me. Fucking hell. He thinks he hasn't been to my apartment. Okay, literally tomorrow. Guys, the way we're so over, like being on a. You're at a club in the bathroom. Are you vlogging? Yeah. For you too. It's 3:30 a.m. and me and Kate just sat and had the most amazing for like five hours. we talked literally for like four and a half hours about life literally everything at like not even like just here like at like four different places we literally ubered <laughs> so to many another times. place to sit on and a we couch just and sat talk. there and talked Long story short, I fucking love Kate. You guys, it's the first day of Fashion Week, or it's my first event for Fashion Week. And I've been like playing it cool on all my other social medias. You know, like, I'm oh, so happy to be here. Hey, YouTube family, y'all know I love you. And I want to be real with y'all. I'm like freaking the fuck out, dude. I'm like, I'm so nervous, but I'm also like, like, obviously, I'm so excited. I've like never even been to like any kind of like influencer event. I don't even know what to expect. But, anyways, this is the fit. Wearing red pants, bro already like outside my comfort zone but look how nice they are like they fit me so good and then these boots i just i had to tell someone i had to tell someone <laughs> finishing touches dude i'm like i don't i don't even i don't know but my mom is coming tonight for the weekend so at least she'll be here whenever i get back i mean this has literally been my dream like since i was like six years old since the first time i ever watched Project Runway. It's like so surreal, I can't even. Okay, I just need to like fucking chill and go. Here we go. Wish me luck. You guys, it was so fun. It was literally the most fun ever, and I met so many freaking so cute people. And look at this fucking bag bro it matches my pants look like are you kidding me i remember whenever i was trying to find something to eat there's a fucking sweet green right around the corner 100 feet away oh my god <laughs> Good morning. I have these little eye patches because look how puffy my eyes are. Like this is the first time in my life that I'm actually using these for their purpose. You know, like I have puffy eyes. So, like I'm gonna do something about it because I actually have so much to do today. It's like noon and I have to be ready by like three. I think my body really hates how dry it is here right now. So, well, that feels nice. But I'm so excited for today and I'm so excited for the outfit that I'm wearing. Self-care. Guys, look at this. I have no words, bro. I'm like, I am the hottest person to ever exist. Get out of my way. That's how I feel right now. I feel like the hot super villain. It's a jumpsuit and it fits me perfectly. And I never want to take it off. But it kind of like doesn't stretch <laughs> like it fits me like perfectly and nothing past that like there's no squeezing into this it was like like i gave her my measurements to like whatever i think it's because it's like lace so it doesn't stretch i'm like having to take deep breaths <laughs> but other than that i'm like in shock at how incredible this is we're on route to first event of day two going to the trade center and is coming with me she's gonna go shopping while i'm making an appearance <laughs> um but yeah i'm very excited and then i have something for aloe later too and that should be fun hey guys. oh my god going backstage Hurt. Just got a fire video from Amy. So I'm gonna end that and then I'm going to something for 
aloe yoga and they sent over an outfit this morning that I get to wear so I'm gonna change out of this which is kind of sad I thought I was gonna be able to wear my hair looks goofy right now I thought I was gonna be able to wear it for like more stuff oh oh you're good then okay thanks my friend also asked I just changed back into what I was wearing earlier because I have to go to another event that's not for athleisure. <laughs> I look god awful and we're at the plaza for a dress fitting. Oh my god. This is so exciting. Oh my god. Uh, look at this elevator. You guys, I literally feel like I'm dreaming. I just got back from the plaza from picking up my dress, which like, what the fuck? Who, who says shit like that? I'm literally going to a soiree tonight. A soiree. I didn't even know that those existed. I didn't even know that those were real things that people went to. And I just can't believe that I'm going. Like, I'm, it's literally like straight out of Gossip Girl. But the dress that I'm wearing tonight, let me just show you. I mean, you've probably already seen it because I probably have like already posted in it. <laughs> but it's pink. And I'm honestly so excited to wear this because whenever I first like found out I was going, I was just gonna wear, you know, that black dress I showed y'all in my packing video, I was gonna wear that. It's for Love Shack Fancy, so they loaned me this dress to wear for the night, and I'm so excited. Okay, I'm here to meet Kate. I'm so confused. Oh my god. I'm really gonna end up keeping and face planning by the end of the night. So I'm gonna remember in the vlog. No, I'm not. And literally, no. me and Kate actually just switched, switched dresses. Because I like this one so much better. And, and this is so much more Kate. This is so much more No, me. it works so, so well. I guess like fuck my entire spiel of being outside my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> This is insane. I feel like I'm in like actually a movie. I feel like Carrie Bradshaw right now. I love this so much. There's, there's no way this is real life. <laughs> We're on our way to the plaza and we will see you when we get there. last night happened like last night was the best night of my life and i woke up and it's snowing it's freaking snowing i feel i'm just like i can't believe this is my life right now i'm literally gonna cry oh my god this is like everything i've ever dreamed of just being at fashion week like just to have my name on a list at the door and i wouldn't be doing any of this without you guys i seriously love you guys so much and i met the sweetest girl yesterday oh my god she was in the lobby of my hotel and i was like running out the door and i was late and i'm so glad that she stopped me to say hi like oh my god just all my dreams are coming true and i think that is insane to be saying sadly i have to take this amazing dress back i feel like i just need to do like a little update for you guys because i haven't really had time to like sit down and just talk to you all i've just been like trying to capture as much as i can you're probably like what the fuck is going on right now first of all can we talk about this robe like i literally want it so bad and i also did just put it on 
I, like, I'm wearing clothes, I put it on for the aesthetic because my hair is in this thing. Full transparency there. Anyways, we're gonna keep it on. Amy is no longer here. Also, Amy's my mom. And I think a lot of people in the, my last New York vlog, I kept referring to her as Amy and everyone in the comments was like, who the fuck is Amy? She just wanted to come for the weekend. And thank God she came for the weekend because holy fuck. Saturday was like the huge Love Shack thing, which was like so incredible, but the prep for it was like probably the most stressed I've been in a really long time. The pink dress, what I originally was gonna wear, didn't fit me very well, so we had to like figure out that. And then I didn't bring a strapless bra, and I had to get a COVID test, and we had to go to the plaza for the fitting. So uh, it was just like, it was so fucking chaotic. So my mom like went and did all that. and found a strapless bra, found safety pins, and I can't even imagine what I would have done if it was just me. I can just like see myself like running around trying to find all these. Honestly, like I probably would have just been like, fuck it, I'm, I'm, I can't worry about that right now. Yesterday was Sunday. I was ridiculously hungover and thank God Amy was here for that. I would have had like no food because I wouldn't have gone down and like gotten anything. Contrary to popular belief, people like don't, okay, no. People on TikTok don't believe me when I say like, I don't go out, like I don't do shit. They're like, no, like you're lying, da 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 da. And I'm like, bro, what do you want from me? Anyways, you guys know that I rarely am out on the town, but obviously it's fashion week. There's a fuck ton of stuff going on. Like obviously I'm gonna be going out, whatever. With that being said, I don't ever drink. We have like a handle of Tito's in our apartment, but that's just like for emergency pregame. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't ever happen either. I think my tolerance level has severely decreased and I didn't realize that. Anyways, oh my god. Look, no. Look at this. What the fuck? I look like so dead and disgusting. Oh my god. Okay, anyways. Uh, so what day is it? This is Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. What am I doing? A fucking tutorial. But I have a launch party for One Size Beauty today um, at like 11. So I don't know if I mentioned, you can probably tell since I'm like up and like talking, but I didn't sleep last night because it's honestly like terrible how little I trust myself to wake up for things and get ready for things that happen like before noon. Like if I have to do anything and be somewhere before noon, I can't let myself sleep because I know I won't be ready in time. I always like assume I have more time than I really do. And then like either my makeup looks shitty or my hair looks shitty and everything just goes downhill. So I just avoid all of that by not sleeping. Oh my God, look, are you serious? You guys, this is the best lighting that we've had. Are you fucking serious? If I had lighting like this in my apartment, I would be filming all the time. Do you know how many selfies I just took? Like an embarrassing amount. And I'm just gonna sit here until the sun goes away. I just left the Charlotte Tilbury office and they were sweetest people ever and the office was so cute and they gave me so many new things to try and i'm just like i can't like me it was so sick anyways now we're on our way to or me it's just me two other showrooms slash gifting suite this one is on the upper east side so i'm really excited because i haven't been near central park yet and that's one of my favorite places so um maybe we'll take a little walk through the park when we're done This is adorable. I love these two together. All right, got some really cute stuff from Ramy Brook. Ramy Brook, I hope I'm saying that right. But there's still snow in the park. Hold on, look, there's still snow. I'm like so freaking happy right now. I literally feel like I'm in an episode of Gossip Girl right now. And speaking of Gossip Girl, I'm pretty sure the Met is up here if I remember correctly, but I just want to go see the steps. I've actually never been inside the Met, and that's like one of my, like, I really want to do that the next time I'm here. There she is. 
Oh my god. What I'm quickly realizing is since it's so cold outside and I'm like breathing out of my mouth, inside of my mask it's wet. I mean, I'm sure that's like a normal thing for people that live in the cold, but I don't live in the cold and it's disgusting and it's pissing me off. Okay, so I'm rolling into like redo my hair. Ew, I hate that you can see me right there. I need to redo my hair and <laughs> probably redo my makeup. Where the fuck is my tripod? Dude, what the hell? So I do want to show you all what I got from Rami Brooke because it's actually really cute. So first I have this top that the owner created like 10 years ago. She like wanted like a versatile sexy silk top and they have it in like every color in the world. Obviously I got black. Fucking hell bro. Okay. I think I actually videoed me trying it on. But yeah, so it wraps like this and it's like low neck and it's so cute. And then I got these pants that match. They're also silk. They literally feel like pajamas, but look at the waist. I feel like that's so pretty. And they're like long enough on me, which is nice. And then, oh, I also got this like silk. I thought it was a, a skirt or a skirt, but it's just shorts. They look like that. And they're also really comfy. But like the top matches with both. I mean, I could wear that top with like jeans or anything as like this like belt situation. But yeah, so really cute. And I had never heard of their brand um, until they DM'd me while I was here, so nice. Well, I just went to TWB Studios and I forgot to film, but I decided to walk home. Even though it's literally 20 degrees, I wanted to sightsee a little bit because I haven't been able to just like chill and walk around. Just stopped at Starbucks for 5 p.m. coffee because I'm so fucking tired and I kind of want to start editing this vlog. Dude, thank God that there's a sweet green next door because if there wasn't, I would probably just be eating like Cheez-Its and like fucking Twizzlers. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I think I've said this before, but I'm not like a foodie. Like, I don't... I don't care about like good food or like trying new places, you know? They literally just eat to survive. Not in like a bad way, but I'm like, if I'm hungry, then I'm hungry. Kind of like intuitive eating, I guess. Long story short, I don't I don't care what I put into my body. But I do happen to really love sweet green. I'm gonna like spill this all over this white fucking coat. Hold on. But oh that's right in the fucking way. Awesome. Oh my god, also, this is what I was gonna tell you guys. I lost my wallet when I was at the Love Shuck Fancy thing the other night. And I I don't lose things like that. Like, especially whenever I'm like drinking. I was like, I refuse to believe that I lost my wallet. Cause whenever I drink, usually I'm like constantly like doing the dad check, like patting myself down, making sure I have everything because like I know myself and I know that these things are very possible to happen to me. So whenever I know that I'm not gonna be in the right headspace, I make sure I have everything. So it's yesterday morning I woke up and I was like, where's my wallet? And then I tried so hard to get in contact with my Uber driver and like he didn't answer yesterday. And he answered today and he was like, oh yeah, I have your wallet. So he just brought that. It, which like, thank God, because this little thing, this is like the key fob for my apartment. It's like 300 bucks to replace. Like that was the only thing I was like worried about. Thank God I randomly brought my passport on this trip. I don't know why I did that, but it's like in my backpack. So if I hadn't found this, go Hannah. Cause I would have been off trying to get on an airplane. <laughs> well, I'm Mario Badescu. Badescu? I'm getting a facial. I've only had one facial in my life. So let's see how this goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. Oh, <laughs> it's all stuck together. <laughs> well, how do I look? I've only ever had one other, fa oh my, my hand. I've only ever had one other facial. <laughs> what the fuck? And it was, very different from what I just experienced. But what I just experienced was awesome and amazing. I've never had someone like do extractions on my face, I think is what it's called. I'm feeling refreshed, revived. That's another word, rejuvenated. 
Why am I so tired, dude? But it's my last day in New York, so I think me and Kate are gonna do something again tonight. Maybe go to dinner or like get drinks or something. But I don't wanna leave. I love it here so much. Oh I'm literally oh, I'm not so crying. I'm not so crying. Guys, I'm leaving Kate. Wait, was that, was and that on video? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, stop. Guys, that's so sad. I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my god. I had an outro filmed for this, but literally too much has happened since then. So here's my new outro. First of all, I'm in Dallas, actually stuck in Dallas because it is snowing and like icy, like it iced over. I'm, it was like 70 whenever I left New York and it's like 17 degrees here. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but I'm in Dallas because my hair lady's here and I don't trust anyone with my hair except for her even though my hair looks actually terrible right now. It's currently Thursday. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post this today, but I had to tell y'all. So it was supposed to go up yesterday, but I woke up yesterday and my entire video was gone. And I spent probably 10 hours trying to fix it. I don't know why it happened. I still don't know why it happened. But basically yesterday was <laughs> awful. But turns out all I had to do was uninstall the app and then re-download it go fucking figure of course anyways i really hope you guys liked this vlog because one best week of my life two i think this might be my favorite vlog close second behind my week at home vlog but again none of it would be possible without you guys who keep watching me but i love y'all and i'm so grateful so thankful for you guys and i cannot wait for next fashion week but i love you guys and i will see you in the next one Thank you.